So, we've just got through an Esprit Motivate spin bike. We actually got two of them, so we've made one. Uh, we just thought we'd do a how-to guide on how to set up, because we know they were trying to flog like... That's 75 pounds? Yeah, 75 pounds to set up, and it's really easy. So we just thought we'd give a quick demonstration. So, all right. The main part is this big chunky thing here. And then we've got a number of parts down in front of us. It's about 14 of them. It even comes with a mat, but we probably won't use yeah. it. It does look quite... Yeah, the mat's quite thin. I yeah. think you need a much bigger one. We spent 20 quid? Yeah, on, a... on Amazon, like a quite big one. Because at the end of the day, we are in um, a flat, so we don't want to obviously annoy yeah. our neighbours, right? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. So, all right. right, let's start. Step one. You're going to install the front foot tube and the rear foot pipe insulation to the main frame. Ta-da! <laughs> so... One has, um... Bills, so you can kind of move the bike like that, which is kind of good. Yeah. And the screws are all attached, so that's kind of good. Yeah, it confused us because we were looking for screws at the start. We realised they're all like tightened in, so you just need to take them out. So the wheels go at the front, the other one goes at the back. It's really simple, we're just lining it up. It's easier with two people. You put the bolt in from the bottom. If we can line it up. <laughs> yeah. And then twist it straight on. They give you adding keys as well as um... Yeah, and screwdriver and the fix you can tighten it properly. Yeah, everything's all included, so you don't need any tools at the starting point. Step two on the next page is put number two, which is the foot pairs uh, on, onto the bike. Yeah, so blood. I mean, most of this we kind of jumped ahead without even following the instructions. Yeah, it's quite easy, really. It is, yeah. But these are just, you can see, it is just the foot, and that slots straight on. You just twist it in, it's really simple. So step three is setting up the seat. Uh, Raquel, do you want to take over? Yeah. Um, first of all, you turn this all the way out, so pops out, but leave it a little bit in. It's firstly, it's this bit. This slots in. Um, it depends how hot, like, um, high you want it at the end of the day as well. So mm. kind of... It's easy to adjust afterwards. So yeah. You can just get it in there just so it's sorted. So let's just do that now. But... Yeah, line up with the hole and then you just screw it straight in. The other two pieces you'll need is this one and then the seat. So next you put in this bit. Um, first time I've done it, I've done it the opposite way round this way, which obviously isn't right. So make sure it's this way, this bit goes at the top. Yeah. Um, put the screws in and find out how way you want it to be, and that's said to me. Um, I'll just probably put it right here. Um, I'm just going to be adjusting the seat so you can just slot it straight on but then it tends to be it will be at that position it won't feel comfortable so you just need to give it a quick screw so it's loose then you slot it straight on just get it to the point you want it and then you can just tighten it straight back up again so now we've done the seat the next part is to do the handlebars so there's a two section obviously the handlebars itself and this long pole um, we're going to be putting that in. Firstly, Raquel is going to be unscrewing here, yeah. so that just means it can go in. But also, uh, this is another piece that comes with all the bolts screwed in, so if you can't find them, again, they're all screwed in. So there's four of them. Then once we've got it into the right slot, <laughs> I'll get around and put it again. <laughs> there we go. So then, these handlebars will have four holes, so, and 
And obviously, as you can imagine, you want these parts, the metal bits, to be up top. So, I'm going to slot it on here, line it up with the holes. So now we've got the handlebars on, the final piece is the machine, it obviously comes with batteries but you just have to start them in the back. Yeah. Got two little wires here. Which slot slot them yeah. And then and you're pretty much good to go. This bit here, you have to just slot the back in. It's quite quick, I'm going to show you. Uh, slot it in. You can move it round where you want it, which is handy. And these bits are quite simple as well, just shut them. Yay! And as you've seen, it's been really quick and easy to set up. I mean, they charge £75 up, so this is dead simple, dead easy. You've got your product, it'll work perfectly. And yeah, I'm going to do a follow-up on this, just uh, reviewing the actual product itself. Oh, and yeah, of course. <laughs> There's a part here where you can just plug it into the sensor up top. So quickly unwind it. But this will slot straight into the back as well. We'll do that in a moment. But that's and then this bit, how Yeah, so this okay. is a 10 kg uh, max weight. So it's not it's not a huge amount if I'm honest. Um, we were looking at 25 kg ones, but it adds a lot of cost. But in the future I think eventually we'll upgrade to a 25 kg because it's it didn't add that much resistance if I'm honest. So yeah. It's good, but we'll do a deep review after about a month of trying the product. Yeah. We'll let so, you know. Yeah, we'll yeah. <laughs> Wish us luck. Yay! Bye! Bye.